What's the problem? The problem is we're living in a disposable, consumer-driven, synthetic world. My company is Topsy Farms. We are a family farm that was started by a pack of peace-loving, draft-dodging hippies in 1972. The farm has evolved over the years into a sheep farm, which evolved into a blanket business. We saw a market inefficiency in the price we were getting for our wool and thought we can do better. So as we've started turning that wool into blankets and then went online, we had one of the first online stores. What are we gonna do then with the profit? Well, we want to do well with the blankets so we can do good on the farm. We're already bringing in school groups, uh, elderly, people with special needs, and taking them around the farm for free. There's no cost to them. We call this program Connect to the Land. It's something that we do every day, both in person and online. Taking people around the farm and showing kids that a pear from an organic fruit tree is not dirty, which just happened three days ago. I had a school group in and they're like, ew, it's dirty. And I just sat with them for a few minutes and talked about it and talked about the alternatives and that the, the pairs they're used to, they're the dirty ones. And in time, and not a lot of time, that same kid picked the pear, took a bite, and this look of wonder came into their eyes. Other ones were worried about getting dirty on the stones. But in time, they were chasing chickens through the woods and like wiping cobwebs off their forehead. They don't care. That's how we save the world. Because why, we can say kids are the future, but if kids are sheltered and protected from the thing that we're expecting them to protect, how can we ever expect them to do this? We can't, because they don't have any love of it. They see a pear on a tree as a dirty thing. That's what I need help with. I want to every day affect someone like the pear kid, even if it's just one person. 365 days, if I can affect one person, that's 365 new shepherds, 365 new gardeners, and each of them shepherding their flock and tending their garden. They say we only have 700 months to live. I don't want to spend a single one of those doing a thing I don't want to do. Greatest accomplishment is sitting here and being able to talk to a group and not pass out from a panic attack. I have had my own struggles, I've had my own demons, and as a family we've decided not to sell a big chunk of our land. We've taken a mortgage on that, paid off retiring shareholders, have jumped off a cliff. I don't have the luxury of having a panic attack. I don't have the luxury of hiding away, I don't have the luxury of spending my time by myself in the woods because that's what makes me comfortable. I don't have that luxury anymore because I have shepherds to train and I have people to take around the farm and I can't do that without resources and I can't get resources without sitting in front of you, without standing in front of them, without being in front of that camera. That's my greatest accomplishment. Come to Topsy Farms, whether you do it in person or online because we need you too.